This is Cosmic Currents, delivering the facts that matter. Subscribe and stay connected. The global shift from fossil fuels hinges on one thing, the battery. Efficient energy storage is the linchpin of the green revolution, unlocking the true potential of renewables and electric vehicles. Today, China is at the forefront, pioneering a game-changing alternative, the sodium-ion battery. Unlike lithium, sodium is abundant and accessible, promising to democratize energy storage and reduce geopolitical tensions. This breakthrough could accelerate the end of the internal combustion engine and reshape global energy markets. We'll explore China's advancements in sodium ion and nuclear battery technologies and how they're already transforming industries, from two-wheeled transport to grid-scale storage. These innovations are setting the stage for a cleaner, more sustainable future. The story of China's battery revolution is a roadmap to a fundamentally different world. The battery revolution is most visible on China's city streets, where the hum of electric motors has become the new soundtrack of daily life. Electric two-wheelers are everywhere, weaving through traffic parked in long rows and transforming the way millions of people move around their cities. In 2025, Yadia launched affordable sodium-powered mopeds, making this new technology accessible to millions of urban commuters and delivery workers who rely on two-wheelers every day. Hangzhou saw the rollout of fast charging stations, capable of charging sodium ion batteries to 80% in just 15 minutes, dramatically reducing downtime and making electric travel more convenient than ever. Yadia's ambitious strategy, build 1,000 stations citywide, eliminating range anxiety for commuters and delivery drivers, and setting a new standard for urban mobility infrastructure. The groundwork was laid with a massive pilot in Shenzhen where 150,000 couriers swap sodium ion batteries in seconds, keeping their vehicles on the road and their deliveries on time. This real-world test proved sodium ion's durability and practicality for high-frequency use, even under the demanding conditions of city logistics. By 2030, analysts expect sodium ion batteries to power 15% of China's electric two-wheeler market, a remarkable shift in just a few years, driven by innovation and scale. Chinese firms are building 27 new sodium-ion battery plants, with BYD alone constructing a 30GW on facility, signaling a massive investment in the future of clean transportation. Backed by billions in R&D and a relentless drive for technological leadership, China is set to dominate global sodium-ion production and shape the next era of electric mobility. The revolution is here, and it's rolling on two wheels, changing the face of urban transportation for generations to come. Sodium-ion batteries offer clear advantages over lithium, they're cheaper, safer, and work better in extreme temperatures. Sodium is abundant and easy to source, slashing battery costs and making electric mobility more accessible. These batteries are more stable, reducing fire risks, and they retain capacity even in freezing weather. The main trade-off is lower energy density, about 30% less than lithium, so they're best for scooters and microcars, not long-range vehicles. But the technology is improving fast. Early sodium-powered microcars are already on the road, and as energy density rises, city cars will be next. Researchers are closing the gap, and the future promises safer, cheaper, and more reliable electric vehicles for all. The journey is just beginning, but the potential is enormous. Sodium ion is poised to transform how we power our lives. The rise of sodium-ion batteries is a strategic move for China, reducing dependence on imported lithium. For years, lithium has been the backbone of the global battery industry, but its supply is concentrated in just a handful of countries, making it vulnerable to geopolitical tensions and market volatility. By shifting to a technology based on salt, a resource found everywhere, China is securing its energy future. Salt, or sodium, is abundant, inexpensive, and easily accessible, making it a far more stable foundation for large-scale battery production. This insulates the country from supply chain shocks and price spikes tied to scarce minerals. It also allows China to avoid the environmental and social costs often associated with lithium mining, which can be significant in some regions. As China scales up sodium ion production, it's set to become the world's leading supplier, shifting power from mineral-rich nations to technology leaders. This transition is not just about resources but about innovation and control over the next generation of energy storage. Sodium ion batteries are also ideal for grid-scale storage, where space isn't a constraint in cost, safety, 
and longevity matter most. Their robust performance and lower risk of overheating make them especially attractive for large installations. In 2024, China launched its first sodium ion energy storage station, marking the start of a nationwide rollout. This milestone signals a new era in energy infrastructure, with sodium ion technology at its core. These affordable large-scale batteries could help developing nations build modern, resilient power grids without relying on lithium. For countries with limited access to critical minerals, sodium ion offers a practical and scalable solution. Already, 20% of new state-run energy storage projects in China use sodium ion technology. This rapid adoption is accelerating research, development, and deployment across the country. This domestic adoption is driving economies of scale, positioning China to dominate the global market for grid storage. As production ramps up, costs are expected to fall even further, making sodium ion batteries more accessible worldwide. The age of salt is here, and it's changing the energy landscape. With sodium ion technology, a new chapter in clean, secure, and affordable energy storage is just beginning. While sodium ion is revolutionizing mass market energy, China is also pushing the boundaries with nuclear batteries. In 2024, Betavolt unveiled the BV100, a coin-sized nuclear battery that can generate electricity for 50 years without charging. This betavoltaic battery uses nickel-63 and diamond semiconductors to safely convert radioactive decay into electricity. It's silent, stable, and sealed, with no risk of radiation leakage. China is also developing carbon-14-based batteries, aiming for even longer lifespans. The nation is building a complete supply chain for nuclear batteries, from isotope sourcing to final assembly. This vertical integration allows rapid scaling and cost reduction, giving China a head start in the global market. While others are still in the lab, China is preparing for mass production. The nuclear battery era is closer than you think. The 50-year nuclear battery isn't for cars or phones, it's for devices that need tiny constant power for decades. Medical implants like pacemakers and cochlear implants could last a lifetime, eliminating risky battery replacements. Satellites and deep-sea sensors could operate for decades, gathering invaluable data without maintenance. The BV100 could power sensors in robotics and the Internet of Things, enabling install and forget electronics everywhere. While the US and UK are developing their own nuclear batteries, China's integrated supply chain gives it a commercial edge. Betavolt's rapid move from prototype to production highlights China's advantage in scaling new tech. The 50-year battery will quietly transform medicine, science, and infrastructure. A new era of permanent power is dawning. China's battery dominance is no accident. It's the result of a deliberate, vertically integrated strategy. The playbook identify key tech, invest in R&D, build a full supply chain and leverage massive domestic demand to drive down costs. For sodium ion, China is projected to control over 90% of global production by 2033. This scale creates a feedback loop, lower costs, more market share, more investment, and even greater scale. The same approach is being applied to nuclear batteries with Betavolt controlling every step from isotope sourcing to assembly. This comprehensive control creates barriers for competitors and accelerates commercialization. The real advantage isn't just invention, it's the ability to manufacture at scale. China's integrated vision connects research to mass market production, powering its global leadership in energy tech. The future belongs to those who can build it, not just invent it. China's battery rise is a cautionary tale for the West, especially the US. It's a story of how quickly global leadership can shift when vision and persistence meet opportunity. Many green technologies, solar panels, lithium-ion batteries, even electric vehicles were invented in Western labs. Decades ago, American and European scientists pioneered breakthroughs that promised a cleaner, more sustainable future. But over time, manufacturing and market leadership shifted to China, leaving the US and Europe increasingly dependent on imports for their green transition. The West watched as factories closed and supply chains moved overseas. This wasn't inevitable, it was the result of policy choices that prioritize short-term profits and cost-cutting over long-term strategy and resilience. Decisions made in boardrooms and government offices shaped the fate of entire industries. 
Meanwhile, China's proactive investment in next-generation technologies, like sodium ion and nuclear batteries, shows a level of foresight and commitment missing in Western industrial policy. Their focus on research, development, and scaling up production has paid off. Now, the West faces the daunting challenge of rebuilding its manufacturing base and catching up. It's a race not just for economic advantage, but for energy security and technological independence. New battery plants are planned in the US and Europe, but they're playing catch-up to China's scale, speed, and established supply chains. The gap is significant, and closing it will require more than just ambition. The lesson is clear, innovation alone isn't enough. Turning ideas into products at scale is what truly drives progress and secures leadership in the global economy. The nation that builds the future is the one that masters making it. Manufacturing is the engine that transforms invention into impact. The battery story is a powerful reminder. If you want to lead, you must manufacture. The future belongs to those who build it, not just those who imagine it. The world is on the brink of an energy transformation, led by China's battery breakthroughs. Cheap safe sodium ion batteries will accelerate the shift away from combustion engines, especially in urban mobility. Grid-scale sodium ion storage could unlock renewables for every nation, democratizing access to clean power. Nuclear batteries promise decades of reliable energy for medicine, science, and exploration. These innovations will clean our air, power our cities, and enable new frontiers in technology. China's advances challenge the status quo, spurring global competition and innovation. The road ahead is challenging, but the destination, a world powered by clean, abundant energy, has never felt closer. The battery revolution is here and it's reshaping our future. The era of enduring accessible power has begun.